Hey, what's up? 12 here, and welcome back to E12 story, or, or storytelling. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be continuing the next um, memory block. Well, it's, it's, still, it's still the same memory block, but the next part in the memory block. We assassinated the, um, the first guy, the um, doctor. Which that one didn't turn out um, turn out too well, but we're gonna meet up with the n the next leader of the next um, the bureau borough leader in Jerusalem. We just gotta make our way over there. Is also your last. What is your Entering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. You better not cause any trouble. Was that absolutely necessary? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Please, don't do that. 
been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight, and try to hide. Any man willing to work God save can him. have his due. Stop. 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 Speak with me. Let me tell you what Talal can offer. The no comforts of a fine life can be yours. These are troubled times in which we live. Food is scarce, money tight, but it need not be this way. There are opportunities for those with the courage to seize them. Talal understands your pain. What you lack, he will provide. All that is asked is an honest day's work. 
a small sacrifice for great rewards. Who knows what the future holds, what tragedies tomorrow may bring. Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard, and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. Talal understands your pain. What you lack, he will provide. All that is asked is an honest day's work. A small sacrifice for great rewards. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Honest day's work. A small sacrifice for great no, rewards. You don't understand. I have nothing. Who knows what the future holds? I have the day only. You break it, you buy it. Fires of war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say Come this is now. an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this! Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallim has asked. Ask that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district and east in front of St. Anne's Church. Close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. Why are you still here? Alright, so we have a couple locations, but we can just head up the... We can we can just head up the the um the viewpoints. I think we only just need two, if I remember correctly. The doctor, we only need like two pieces pieces of information. That was pretty much it.
will do it. won't take action, it falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet, but if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man, learn everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered. Won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed. You'll need it. Willing to work, food can have his dues. Speak with me. Let me tell you what Talal can offer. The comforts of a fine life can be yours. I do not have. These are troubled times in which we live. Food is scarce, money tight, but it need not be this way. There are opportunities for those with the courage to seize them. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. 
Work hard, and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. I've decided to reduce prices on everything. to say to you speak to me or speak to God it's your choice you won't stop the work he does cannot stop it stop what what work he prepares them for the journey journey where they are held in his warehouse and when the time comes they are sent to Akka where is this warehouse and why Akka Talal tells me what I need to know nothing more it is safer that way for him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. to waste more of my time? I found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one.
You've no reason to be out here, old man. Stop this, please! You're hurting me! Help! I need help! Please, anyone! You're nothing. God has forsaken you. Don't hurt me, please! You think you're God? Oh! Now, slaver. Do not call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here, to think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Help me! Save me! Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here? You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light, then. I will grant you one final favor. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. This will teach you how to trespass.
to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al-Mu'alim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No. Not yet, it seems. But you will. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No, a skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al-Mu'allim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast-forward endeavoring to a more recent one.
damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. Can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes. Here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nut jobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code.
Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart? That you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. I need you to lie down, Desmond. Alright, I'm going to pause it off from here. Um, as you guys can see, we saw a couple of some emails. Apparently some employee committed suicide, but that's basically some side, some side story. But we assassinated the target pretty well. Um, I'm still having issues if I have the counter abilities or I don't have the counter abilities. That's why... You saw me try to struggle with him, um, trying to get the um, the kills, but we managed we managed pretty good. I'm gonna uh, as you can see, I'm gonna pause off from here. Until then, uh, my name's E12, E12 Sky, E12 Assassin, E12 from Twitch, whatever. And hopefully, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, and as always, take the time at your day to enjoy. Take it easy, guys and ladies. Peace out.